This guide will show you how to create a purchase order in the full document view. Purchase orders need to be raised to record the goods that have been ordered from vendors, the receipt of goods into stock as they arrive, and the correct value of the goods on the invoice when it arrives. First of all, go to the menu on the left hand side and select Franchise Point of Sale. You will then need to open up the Purchase folder and then click on Purchase Order. You then need to go to the bottom of your screen and select Full Document View. If you wish to refresh the purchase order as there's already information in it, click in the white space around the header and press F3. This will give you a blank purchase order. Now click in the white space to fill in the purchase order number and the dates. Now you need to select your vendor. So click in the up arrow next to the vendor number field. You will then be provided a list of vendors. To search for a vendor, click in the name field and press Ctrl and F on your keyboard. You will then need to make sure that any part of field is selected. You can then type in the vendor name in the find what field and press find first. Once you've found the vendor that you wish to use, Close the find box down, select the line and then click OK at the bottom of the screen. Now click in the white space around the header to fill in the vendor information. You can now add in your items. For this, you need to go to an item line and click in the type box. Press the down arrow and select item. And then in the number, you can use this as a match code. So for example, if I wanted a Dunlop tyre, I would put in DU as the manufacturer, and then the tyre size, so 205, 55, 16, and then press enter on my keyboard. This will then give you a list of tyres that meet those requirements. Select the tyre you wish to choose and press OK at the bottom of the screen. This will then bring this item into your purchase order. You then need to put in your quantity and make sure that the cost is correct. For Goodyear Dunlop tyres, the cost will automatically be brought in. However, this might need changing. For other tyres or items, this will need to be filled in. When you want to select another item, just add it in the same way. However, you can search for other items such as oil in the number field as you can see on the screen. This will then display a list of products you can choose from. Select the line you wish to choose and press OK. In this example, you will need to type in a cost. You will then need to fill in the vendor shipment number and the vendor invoice number. These will usually be on your delivery note or on your invoice from the vendor. Once you're happy with your purchase order, go down to the bottom of the screen and press posting and then post and print or post. You will then be given the option to receive. This means that the items have arrived but you haven't received an invoice, therefore you have a delivery note or you can choose to receive and invoice, which means you've had both. I will explain why you would choose invoice later on in this guide. Once you click OK, this will then create your purchase invoice, as you can see on the screen. If you selected receive when posting the purchase order, it will still need to be invoiced. When you receive the invoice from the supplier, you can then match it to the purchase order. To do this, go to Franchise Point of Sale and then open up the Purchase in Progress screen. You will then need to tick Include Completely Received. This will then show up any orders that you have just received. Select the one you wish to invoice and click Open at the bottom of the screen. You will then need to open up Full Document View at the bottom of your screen. In your invoice line, you will be able to see that the quantity to receive is blank. This means that you've already received the items. 
so go down to Posting and select Post. You will then need to select the Invoice tab and click OK. This will then invoice your purchase order. You have now come to the end of your guide. For more guides, please visit bit.ly slash grips guides or call the grips support team on 0208 328 9818.